That's right, Demon Slayer is back! How did you like my little Demon Slayer sound effect? I got also a little sword now for, you know, Tanjiro. Anyways, we're entering a new arc. I think this is called the Hashira training arc. Yes, the episodes, the movies, they've been leaked for a long time thanks to Crunchyroll's joke of a security. But hey, it should be pretty fun. Let's begin. Today's one hour long premiere. Ooh. Okay, this never made sense to me. What do you mean, un -ufotable production, motherfucker? You guys didn't even partake in elementary school grammar English. U is a vowel, but sometimes it gets treated as a consonant. It should be a ufotable production, not an un-ufotable production. My immersion is ruined. Dropped. Anyways, uh, what are we doing? That's uh, our American-style breathing's brother, right? That's uh, Mitsuri's boyfriend, right? The snake dude? Yo, why is he always so upset and angry? Like his eyes, bro. Holy fuck. Okay, some like uh lore stuff from the past season. So Genya. Genya is basically got bitten by a demon, right? But, uh, how does this work? Yeah, he basically is like half demon something. Fuck, I gotta do my homework. Big bro, does he also have like demon properties? Or is he just like a normal human? Because he took down the mom who got... Because like their parents got fucked up, right? Is there any demon slayer specialist in chat? Can anyone like do some homework for me? Women are getting stolen. Is it that um, upper... Is that third rank? Yeah, if it's spoilers, don't tell me. Don't confirm anything the anime hasn't confirmed. Brother, we know, has special blood. But um, yeah, if we're talking about women, there, there is like an upper rank, the really smooth guy that apparently kills really pretty women and beheads them and shit like that, right? Is that this guy's castle? <laughs> no one's expecting anything from you screw <laughs> Kinda true! Kinda true! <laughs> 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 Just some Oni looking demon. This is a new soundtrack, I think. Dude, look at the amount of scars Genya's brother has. I love how the captions will always say destroy when we look expand back from like the Demon Slayer like jacket, you know, caption. That's not Akaza, no, no, no. <laughs> what, 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 what fighting is this, bro? What, 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 snake breathing third floor? What, what, what is this shit? <laughs> Two-pronged dick. Yo! I, I, I. Everyone, we said we didn't expect anything you from you scrubs. That's a kill. The wind Hashira is him, Genya's brother. That's why his blade is like green. Shinazugawa. Shinazugawa. Five fucking syllables! Okay. <laughs> Let's go! Bro has the power of the cousin. Serpent breathing. The sword is just a snake. Or I think it's the imagery. Flexible snake? He's just as Sundari as Genya. Two Hashira, right? So powerful. Right? But still, to see the Hashira just kill so many so fast. Pretty hype. He gives him orders? Really? Okay, I mean, like, hierarchy-wise, like, I was wondering, like, who is, like, the leader here? So, Iguro is basically telling Sanami, like, do this, and he just kind of accepted, so... Maybe my focus should be more on Mr. Serpent Man, Mr. Iguro Obanai, you know, boyfriend of Mitsuri, right? Right? That's a thing, right? He gave her the, the thigh highs. <laughs> That, the serpent breathing animation. 
so different because it's an actual snake as the blade. <laughs> <laughs> Just surrender and die. <laughs> Raining blood! So cool! <laughs> That's really cool though. <laughs> Wait, what? <gasps> the shit that we saw in the beginning of last season when we were going to meet Muzan, right? Hello? What? <laughs> this demon did it? Uh... <coughs> Got away. Got away. That was fucking sick, though. Damn. I don't know. I, I, I haven't seen that since, like, you know, the first episode. This is called the Infinity Castle, Muzan Base. People are actually hyping up an arc after this, which is called the Infinity Castle arc. I'm not really sure. And that's supposed to be like Akaza's arc. And apparently I'm going to cry for Akaza. As if I would cry over fucking children's cartoons. But hey, that's going to be the peak arc after this. We only have Hashira training and then Infinity Castle. And then that's it. I wonder if every demon can just like um activate that castle or if it's like very specific demon. That's the ship. It's Tanjiro's girlfriend, guys. She might have less lines than Nezuko, bro. And Nezuko doesn't say shit except Ohio. And then this is the three BDI girl trio, the NPC trio that just has dots for eyes. <gasps> She's getting lines! This is Miyuki? Miyuki voice actor. That's right. Which is insane because we just came off of Entertainment District and now we just got double kill? And yes, we have a Sun Conqueror now. So we're aware of this. Yet is this still gonna happen? Ohio. Wakey, wakey! Emergency Hashira Mini for the training arc. Of course, Shisho. Kimetsu no Yaiba. Hashira training arc. <laughs> That's basically the intermission themes theme. Theme. Okay. He had his time to shine in the first episode too, last season. The sun breathing shit was hype. Genya's gun breathing was hype. Hot take. Nuclear take. Oh, I'm gonna anger the fucking Demon Slayer fandom with this, but... Even though the feats that were shown in last season was insane, Nezuko conquering the sun. You know, Tanjiro being able to use sun breathing even more. Genya's gun breathing. That shit was really, really hype. But... I felt like, compared to the Entertainment District arc, the level of desperation, some level of stakes, like, I just didn't feel the same. I feel like Entertainment District arc, I felt the, 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 the desperation. I felt the demise, the doom. But Swordsmith Village, I didn't really feel like we were ever going to lose. I felt like, ah, oh, even though, you know, things are kind of dangerous, like, we're going to be fine. There just wasn't that level of oh shit is someone actually gonna die uh, that's just me on the last arc it was still good but entertainment district when i was watching i just remember feeling like despair and i'm like holy shit are we gonna actually die Heart. seven days she eats a lot she's a big girl strong they got it by day three, huh? Yeah, it worked. <laughs> that face, it's kind of scary fucking face, but the gauge of how fast we wake up is... Yeah. She conquered the sun. She can talk now. It is. 
鬼として進化してるのかふんおさんって誰だ<笑>おいおいおいおいおいおいおいおいおいおいお前の妹があなって、もう警戒態勢の号令がかかったし、柱も今集まってるって話だしな。Alright, here we go. 柱 meeting. The Enigma. 待たせたようだ。申し訳ない。<gasps> 問題ない。Stone 柱、清め姫島。The Enigma, according to, you know, sound 柱。Is he blind? ウィンハシラサネミリアタって感じだったけどみんなで力を合わせてね The power of love! No words. ああ、うらやましいことだぜ。なんで俺は上限に遭遇合わないものはとんとない。カンロジトトキト。ありがとう。ずいぶんよくなったな。おお、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、He's crying. What is he crying for? Is he crying because, you know, Iguro actually cares about Mitsuri? Was he also fangirly? I don't. Why is he crying? Um, Because he's empathetic towards all the people that's died? I don't know. What kind of person is he? I want to understand him. The master. Oh no, his condition's worsening! Never appear? The... I trust them, but that sounds like a conspiracy. Never appear? He just never shows up ever again? Okay. Well, he's not dead yet, though. He's pretty much almost dead, but he's not dead yet. Um, am I forgetting something from the last season? He's like bedridden, right? Oh, I guess this is huge that she is bowing. Oyakata-sama is one day for a long time. I will be able to keep your life strong. I will be able to keep your life strong. I'm going to try Michael Jackson coming for Nesco. Hide your kids, hide your children. And that's gonna be like next arc. What the fuck is this crow? Is this Mitsuri's crow right here? Is, is that the Mitsuri's bird? The messenger? On the left, is this Iguro's bird? Does Iguro even have a bird? Or, it, 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 I wanna believe that the left is Iguro's bird and they're just like kinda just also the crows are shipping each other. That's right! The awakening! <laughs> um, oh shit, the awakening, the mark. I think that last season, people were saying shit like, um, there needs to be some criteria that needs to be met for the Hashira marks to like awaken, right? Demon Slayer marks. And a couple of it was like, you need to be in like such a life or death situation. Your body temperature needs to reach some kind of fucking um, temperature, like high temperature. But also, you also, if, if someone else with the Demon Slayer mark is around you, they can basically infect you or some shit. Like Tanjiro basically awakens them, right? The first breathing! Lore! Sorry, dad, dad. Old, old dad. Grandfather? I don't know. The person that kind of looks like Kokubushi or some shit. So, of the existing Hashira, not everybody has a Demon Slayer marks. Only Mitsuri and Tokito has the Demon Slayer marks? Is there anyone else existing? Because it sounds like to them, like no one even fucking knew because there were many who brooded over not having the mark appear. That sounds like fucking skill issue. So you just didn't tell them because you were afraid that they're gonna get depressed? The mark. This soundtrack right now, during this lore drop is so good. Do you think that in order for the. Because, like, before back then, right? The first breathers, they all had the mark, but obviously I'm gonna assume that it originated from the main great-great-grandfather, right? You know, the guy that looks like Kokushibo or whatever his name is, right? So he must have been the one to like spread the mark onto others. So then is it possible that the Demon Slayer mark, it starts with the origin, sun breathing. Sun breathers are the ones to activate the mark by themselves alone. 
and then they passed it on to other people. That seems to be that, yeah? There it is! One, one person, Tanjiro, yes! He started infecting others with the mark. Hashira trading... Uh, you know what? Y you, I just realized. I, I just fucking realized what this is. Bro, the Hashiras are not training us. The f Tanjiro is training the Hashira this arc. He needs to touch every one of them. Take my mark! Take my mark, you motherfuckers! You need to get these marks and fight the goddamn Infinity Castle people in the arc! It's these motherfuckers that need to awaken the marks. That's great. Tanjiro. That's right, he's a main character though. Sun breathing fucking earrings on the mark on the fucking forehead. When did it first appear? Did it appear in Entertainment District? Or was it Swordsmith Village? I thought that it was Entertainment District, right? The crazy life and death situation. Yeah, it was the Entertainment District. That's the first time we even started using sun breathing seriously. Yeah, 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 yeah. This girl was not paying attention, bro. You're one of the few that has the mark. You need to help them. She was not paying attention. It's pretty hot. You know what? This is actually not too far up because this is the exact description that Tanjiro is giving. Go back to the episode, like in this episode right now, when Tanjiro's talking to his messaging bird, bro. He said the same shit. Boom. Wow. <laughs> These chibi faces in Demon Slayer, bro. Tokito, can you give us a. Uh, Okay, here, here comes an actual explanation. Oh, it's the conditions. Life or death? Be around Tanjiro or someone else that has a mark? Oh, that's it. Oh, that's it. Oh, that's it. Oh, Back to Tokito? Oh, wait! That's right, that's the battle against the Jar guy. Dude. The twin brother plot twist was fucking insane. <laughs> okay, so do we actually need to exceed 200 beats per minute? Like, I thought people were memeing about these conditions, about how your heart rate needs to be a certain, you know, your temp body temperature, heart rate, and be around someone that actually has the mark. Like, really? Alright, we gotta hit 102 degrees, guys. 200 beats per minute. That's it's up to fate. So you're saying not everyone you could die in trying to get the Demon Slayer mark. I mean, I'm sure everyone here in the room will get it, but like you could potentially die if your body got to that state. Yeah. How do you have such accurate numbers? You had a thermometer at that same time? <laughs> Mitsuri's like... <laughs> I thought Mitsuri was like, what the fuck is bro yapping about? 200 beats per minute? 102 Celsius? What the fuck? I just felt like I go pow, boom! <laughs> you just insulted him! Bro, just call it stupid! Okay, 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 okay. Probably just call it stupid, but but uh, like okay, okay. So if if these are the two conditions, right, 200 feet per minute and and body temperature 102 Celsius, why don't we just run a fucking marathon in a sauna? Let's just go in a sauna, really hot place, and we just fucking run around. Everyone, run around in a sauna together. And then reach 200 beats per minute, and, and then Mark will activate. If it doesn't, I'm sorry, you just weren't meant to be. No. I think they're missing out a key ingredient here, which is Tanjiro, because they're focusing on what happened to them at that instant. I feel like Tanjiro needs to be present. 
あざが発言した方はどなたも例外なく What? Die? What? What? <laughs> All those with the marks, they will for sure. Next scene. There's some consequences of having the mark, and maybe you die. I don't fucking know. Naruto, Naruto, ka? Nabusa. Amane dono mo taishitsu sareta no de. Esun ja ne. You wanna fight? Sore sore no kongo no tachimari mo kime ne to nara ne daro ga. Bro is such a Leon Cromwell from Stensera, bro. This dude is such a fucking sin today, bro. He does not give a fuck about his team, bro. I don't want to hang out with you losers. Maybe he already has the mark. Probably not. Tomioka, you're being unreasonable, bro. You're not being a good team player. <laughs> Whoa! I'm not like you guys. You know, this might be good in inciting like a rivalry. Suare. Yes, sir. And he's crying the entire time too. Bro can just command the entire room while being blind and crying and just going like this with those fucking anal beads. Bro, what is this dude? Gyobe just seemed like the leader, right? I don't even even in like terms of the sitting positions and everything, it just feels like Gyome is the leader. Is this gravity? What is these effects that's like going down? Let's listen to it. What up? And you skip it, of course, and you fucking skip it. All the important dialogue and revelations fucking skip. But at least they told us about, you know, the uh, the mark and the significance and how it relates to sun breathers. I think my theory still is the sun breathers are the ones to start the mark. And people around them, if they meet those conditions, they will also receive the mark. So Tanjiro will be need to be present with all the different Hashira. They will all get the marks. And then that is the... Hashira training arc. I thought that the Hashiras were gonna train us, but it's like he's training the Hashiras. Funny. よく食べるな。ていうかチビ三人組と妹はどこにいるんだよ。お、いないらしいので、ずっとねずことは遊んでくれてるんですよ。そのおかげで少しずつ。ああ、平和だな。うん、こっちのお団子も美味しいです。は
Zenitsu deserves this, bro. Zenitsu fucking deserves this, bro. Inosuke better. The superior supporting character. Oh, Inosuke. Deserve, deserve. That was seen was only funny because we were shitting on Zenitsu to remind you. So this is why she said Okaeri Inosuke. Because she only knows how to say Inosuke. Because Inosuke has just been saying Inosuke, Inosuke, Inosuke. Okay. That's a lot of dango. Bro's got the shonen main character appetite, but that's exactly what he is. Oh, it's this guy. What's going on, bro? You gotta take a shit. What's going on? New Hilt? Yo! New Hilt, the guard, Rengoku's. I don't think he can. Giving the sword away like that made him feel like this. Oh, he wants to open it. Oh, I'm like, show me the blade. Black steel. Does the color of the steel matter? I remember back in the day, again, I don't really have much Demon Slayer knowledge because I casually watched it. But like, I remember like something about black was like, um, was it the black sword or some shit? There was like a deeper meaning towards it. I, I forget the rules. And this is the sword that we retrieved from within the doll that looked like the sun breather, right? Last season. Remember the training doll? There was a specific like a secret blade in there. We pulled it out and then bro went out into the fucking woods and basically was just doing this for like so long that he even ignored the fucking upper rank. It was pissed off the upper rank dude and he's like, what are you fucking doing ignoring me for? This is the final product, right? Yeah, this guy, this guy. The respect he had for the sword, not even left his real name. Sword lore. Hmm. Except unfinished products. Yeah, this is the handsome mask, dude. Yes, he's an Ikiman secretly. Honestly, this guy honing the sword with the fucking uh, upper moon getting mad that he was ignoring him was one of the funniest moments in Demon Slayer. Bro was literally just ignoring an upper moon. He's like, I don't give a fuck. I'm just... And even after the guy destroyed his shed and we got flown somewhere else, Bro just got back up and started doing this shit again, just completely ignoring. That's how devoted he was. He really can't. Has some fucking anger issues to sort out. But that was sussy as fuck. What the fuck? Did you see what his mouth was doing there? He made a hole with Tanjiro's cheek and then... Anyways, I think that at a certain level, you need a level of mental illness, some kind of craziness in an artisan for them to really pop off. So he's like eccentric because of this. <laughs> that, that was mild today. Genya. Inosuke, welcome back. Can just tired of that bullshit. Can <laughs> you can't hang out with us? We're all just gonna be collaborating and teaching each other. Next week, next Sunday. <laughs> I feel like Nezuko should be training a long way. Exactly, that's what I'm thinking. While everyone's distracted, what if Nezuko gets kidnapped then? Demon's sightings went down. They're all focusing. 
I still think that the bulk of this fucking training is training these Hashiras to get the mark. He said the line! Active. Inactive Hashira. Do I know any retired Hashira? Yeah, Tomiya, because that Tengen will probably show up to help us train. Is there anyone else other than Tengen? I think he's still pissed off about the Nezuko Inosuke thing. Bro does not want to train. Good. Please get the fuck out of this. I hate Zenitsu unless he's some unconscious. Where's Nezuko? Nezuko should fuck him up for doing this to Tanjiro. Huh? Thanks for biting my head. Maybe the Ark and the Infinity Ark. You think Zenitsu might die? All we had to do was thank you for the thunder breathing and you fucking folded so easily. Very easy to please. I would argue last arc where you were not there was one of the most smoothest arcs that we've ever had. <laughs> Tengen! Retire Tengen! <laughs> These poor kids. They're all just gonna be trained for cannon fodder, dude. Smack up! <laughs> I don't remember their cleavage being this big. Holy shit, but then again, it's been a while since season two. Damn, this cooking scene. Holy shit. They whipped out a hype soundtrack for this. Ah, he doesn't want to look bad. Actually, good. Okay. I don't know. Fucking sword training. So, everyone's specific style? Okay. What's he gonna do? I'm scared for his training. If it is lashing, we're literally just gonna keep swinging until our arms fall off. Gyome, muscle amplification. I kinda wanna see Tengen back in though, in the next arc. I'm telling you, go to a sauna and you to start running in the sauna. Okay, this is the flexibility training. Huh? She's spreading them open? Oh, what are them? What is she spreading? This is the flexibility training. What is she spreading? <laughs> okay. The legs, I think. <laughs> Who is it? This is muscle amplification? <laughs> They're floating! That guy's actually dead on the left side, bro. <laughs> and they all just die, float down the river. <laughs> Messenger bird, what's up? What a dick! Okay, okay. Why, why is he being so chuny, bro? Why is he just like saying fuck the training? He's not like them, he said. Hashira あなたの意志を継ぎ、あなたの気持ち、気物自無残を倒すという悲願のため進んでやってくれています。でも、いつかきんワースト<笑>
Amara has to put on such a strong face in front of everybody. Part of me wishes that in the last arc versus Muzan, the master reveals something special and he has like this specific state that where he can fight and it's like the master can fight in this specific form and fights Muzan. I think that would be fucking hype, but like the master is probably not going to do stuff like that, right? He's not going to pull a fucking Elliot from Data Live where he bro just gets out of the wheelchair and then returns to fucking 20 years ago in his peak form, right? Is this Entertainment District? Where is this? Some village. Eh. State of progress. Research. Tamayo, Tamayo, Tamayo. That voice acting from the crow, though. <laughs> わが。いや、しかし、隠れるのがお上手ですな。I think it literally is Elliot's voice acting. Right? This is Yorokobe Shonen. Yorokobe what about her? Shinobu, yeah. Okay, that makes sense, right? Work together, do some more research. Will she come back to them? Uh, they're, gonna, they're not gonna kill you, right? I mean, Genya is also kind of demon too. It should be fine. Yeah. Oh, yeah, that did happen. And we said he's gonna get in trouble, right? Yeah, like break a window. Oh! This is not getting in trouble. Ooh. This is a Shinobu highlight, I think. What the fuck kind of secret? Wait, that Shinobu. The secret is that Shinobu, the insect Hashira, is super compassionate towards others. That, that's it. I'm like, what the fuck was that? All right, that's the episode. Welcome back, Demon Slayer fans. We are eating good. What was the significance of today's one-hour premiere? Basically, they have realized this important mechanic. No one mentioned it, but the Demon Slayer mark exists. And the explanation of, of why the Demon Slayer mark not being known to the public are Hashiras is because it might hurt some people's feelings if the Demon Slayer mark didn't appear in some of the Hashiras. I'm not really sure how I feel about that justification. To me, it feels like in a Shonen series, as you escalate the story and go to the end game, you need different mechanics, different power scalings, and they introduced, you know, the Demon Slayer mark in the Entertainment District arc, but then it kind of got more serious in the third season with the Swordsmith Village, right? And now they're giving us an actual explanation and kind of the mechanics of how it even appears. So based on my interpretation of this, it seems like the Demon Slayer mark really originates from the Sun Breathers, right? Because even back in the day of the first Breathers, it seems to have originated from our like, what, great, great grandfather or some shit, the Sun Breather. And, and in this generation, it's Tanjiro. So it just seems like the mark starts off from a sun breather and then basically with those other metrics of being like a near life or death situation by having 200 bpm and 102 celsius who the fuck really knows if these numbers matters but tanjiro is a key component in activating all these hashiras to get the mark i it is definitely training this the rest of the corpse as well but to me it almost sounds like we are fucking training the hashiras to ensure that they all have the mark so that when we go into the next arc which was teased a little bit right the infinity castle stuff this is a really sick scene by the way when they were escaping and he jumps off and basically the infinity castle seems to be some place that all the demons dwell 
looked like a really sick, you know, place. So they're kind of all in preparation for that. Then it's just back, unfortunately, but he is cool when he's still unconscious. Inosuke funny as fuck as usual. Nezuko only being saying Inosuke too. Then it was hilarious. We're gonna get some of the retired um, Hashiras back, meaning that Tengen is gonna be here, of course. But remember Rengoku's dad, the one that maybe he'll also show up. Didn't Tanjiro literally fight at that? That shit was pretty funny. Anyways, getting a little bit more of the other stuff too with the other Hashiras and Tamuro. Finally, Tamayo, Tamayo. She's getting reintroduced to the story at last because in season one, she was important, right? Because she's like a demon that does research and stuff. But now with her and Shinobu doing studying together to, to Nesco, maybe they'll figure out some secrets about this world. But that's it for me. If you're still here, if you didn't enjoy this reaction, please like the video. Check out the other playlist for more content. And until next time, take care.